young guns. Because there are only two of you remaining and the OGs have five, you now have the power to even the playing field. I like the sound of that. Fuck. You must pick one artist from the OG team to join the Young Guns for this Flash Challenge. Shit. Fuck. Who do you choose? All right, OGs. Time to make some people angry. Because we're not super tool savvy. Shit. We're gonna choose James. I knew it. Uh, nothing would annoy James more than joining <laughs> our team right now. <laughs> Bye. 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 Well, here's my worst nightmare come true. Welcome to our team. So it's like to feel young again. <laughs> Fuck. The one person I didn't want him to pick. If they win the skull pick, I know he's not going to target Anthony, and he can't target Cat or Jade. Welcome to the team, buddy. So that puts the crosshair right on me. I'm really curious where your head's at with the skull pick now that you're on their team and you won. I'm not on their team. I was on their team temporarily. It's totally different. He's kind of behind enemy lines right now, so I think he's just in a crazy position. But I mean, you can kind of watch out for all of us at the same time. But I think most people are ready to throw me under the bus. To be honest, I felt it when I was on the bottom with Trevor. I don't think my team had my back. I feel like I was the only one that was actually defending him. James's tattoo reads as a whole piece a lot better than Trevor's does. I think the Young Guns and the OGs, if they get a chance to sabotage me, they would, so. You're a strong player, you know, one of the best here, if not the best. So it'd be dumb not to, right? We didn't speak against your tattoo. If I was at the bottom, I would hope that my team would have my back. Zombie. On the ribs. 100%? Ribs. There's no question about you moving it whatsoever. Correct. Oh, you guys are gunning for somebody. You do it. Good luck, bro. I felt very targeted. Oh, what'd you just do? I, I didn't do shit. <laughs> Jade, what'd you do? I'm about to find a lot out about you right now. Canvases, one by one, please read the artist's name on the bottom of your skull. This is a fun day. For you. Anthony. I'm a guy. Figure you get a hamburger with that hot dog, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> A thousand percent, James wanted to be able to protect Anthony, and he did just that. Anglerfish. Cat. That's me. Zombie on the ribs. Pony. That'd be me. Tried to look out for you, pony. Man, these girls are playing the game. <laughs> I fucking knew it. I fucking knew it. Two against one, man. I know James is controlling the situation, and I know he took a shot. <laughs> Oh, that's awesome. It's taken me a little while. Do you know how much time we have left? I can't coast in the middle anymore. It's too risky. I need to start stepping up my game. Hour 24. OK. Everything is fine. <laughs> it's been a while since I've had this much motivation and drive. I had my daughter when I was 19. It actually kind of led me into this career. I started my apprenticeship when my daughter was only six months old, and now she's almost 16. I just want to make sure that she knows she can do anything and prove to her that I can do anything that I set my mind to. So I'm going to make it to the end of this competition. So how are you feeling? A little nervous, for sure. I mean, it was my first new school tattoo, so. Congrats on your first new school tattoo. Yeah, no, it's funny because, like, the little avocado guy, it immediately made me think of my mom because she's, like, obsessed with avocados. What's your mom think about, like, you being here? She's super excited and, like, supportive about it. My whole family is. It was tough, though, at first because I come from, like, a super conservative family. I'm adopted. My brother's adopted. Like, growing up, like, I had to wear super conservative clothes. Nobody in my family has tattoos, like, still to this day. Same with my family. Like, oh, people with tattoos are just criminals and gangsters. <laughs> yeah. I honestly didn't expect to come this far. But now that I have, I want to continue to keep getting farther in here. You've been quiet this whole competition. What I want to see is for you to get out there and speak up more than you've ever spoken up before and show that you're fighting to be here. You need to show up. I know I can do way better technical than that. What you were able to accomplish in six hours compared to a tiny avocado that should have taken two hours. But if I do that, I can do way cleaner too. Yeah. When I first came to America, I looked for a job and nobody want to hire me because I don't speak English. My mentor opened the door, took me as the first female student, and I've been with him for 21 years. I'm the only one to support my whole family financially. I'm here today because my mentor. 
So I want to honor my mentor. Like, this is important. You can't go. I want to see us both to the end. I'm going to go down there, fight for myself, and show them I'm samurai.